it's Kai Streamer here. I wanted to bring you an update of my 30 centimeter cube tank, which has grown into a bit of a chaotic jungle. Now, I like jungle tanks, I like slightly chaotic displays, but in the confines of this cube, it's become a bit overwhelming. The mosses have grown really, really well, and the lilies did quite well. I had added some Luigi Niclonata green in here, which is doing okay. The big issue is that I added some giant hair grass, Leocaris, Vipara, and that's kind of taken over in the back corner. It's grown up to the surface, it's lying flat. It's shrouding the Ludwigia, preventing it getting some light, and it's sort of bullying the uh, Nymphaea a little bit. And the other thing is that my friend Mark Young, when I told him I was going to set this up, Mark of MJ Aquascaping wisely said to me, Moss tank is going to be a lot of work. And I said, well, but it's the smallest tank in the gallery. You know, I, I'm sure I can dedicate enough time to it. But he was totally right. Even though there's only a couple of celestial pearl danios in here, the and some shrimp, the moss gets thick with detritus. I keep having to siphon it out and sort of fluff it up and squirt the moss with a turkey baster to sort of blast all the detritus and bits and pieces and dirt out of it whilst I'm siphoning. It's actually the smallest tank in my gallery and it's the one that takes the most time to maintain. And this isn't really sustainable and I sort of want something a bit different. One of the issues is you can see one little old Anio, uh, Celestial Poldania, sorry, Danio Margaritatus, zooming around there. There's five in here. I never see the other four. I just see this one. Uh, so it's a bit of a you know, lost cause in terms of seeing the fish. Shrimp are doing very well. Lots of uh, pregnant females in there. They look really nice, and you can see they're quite happy in there. But I really want this to be a tank where you know, see a bit more going on. So my plan is actually to sort of recreate a display which I did for my Aquatic Habitats book project featuring Ember Tetras, Hypersprite and Amande and several kinds of plants which I think will be quite nice. It'll be a more open display. It will controversially contain no hardscape and all of this moss will go into another tank and the Eleocaris vivipara which I quite like as a plant will go into a larger tank and the Ludwigia as well but the Nymphaea would probably stay in here. I really like the way the orange leaves contrast with the blue of the light background. Now this is Pygmaea helvolva. Pygmaea, Pygmaea helvolva, I think, that I've got in here. There's also an alba, I think, in there. But I've been enjoying the, the growth of the tank. It's really, as you can see, filled out and flourished since its inception. But I think it's time to, you know, try something else. I can't see this tank developing further in a positive way unless I sort of hack everything back and defeats the purpose. But I thought I'd try something else. The joys of a small tank like this are, of course, that you can easily change your mind and take everything out and start again. And it's going to be a bit of a drastic process. I'm not going to film the teardown process. I always find that a little bit traumatic, quite messy. You can see the 45P on the right there is also really full. That's going to have a makeover because there's more plant mass than water. The fish haven't got much room. That's going to be changed around. But I'll start with the 30 cube. I can develop that into something a bit more, a bit more engaging, a bit more open. Despite the difficulties with the moss, I'm quite pleased with how it has flourished. I've got CO2 injection going in here. I'm dosing with uh, Tropica fertilizers. Everything is doing very, very well, as you can see. I kind of like this chaotic moss. I think it would look better in a much larger display to have this sort of thing. In here, it gets it gets too much. It takes over, and as I said, the Eleocaris, you can see it's growing around the side. It's growing over the top. It's just dominating the space there. But it does provide a really nice habitat for fish. If you could see the other fish, it would be nicer. 
But this kind of tank is great for nano species, as you can see. Danny was out and about. If you, he at least feels confident. See the shrimp. This is a sort of not very aquascaped <laughs> design anymore. I've allowed it to go to seed, but I've really enjoyed the process. As I said, I don't think there's anywhere for this display to go to progress, so I think it's about time for a change. So I think I will take it down now and see what I come up with. So as you can see, I have stripped out the plants from this tank. I've added some more soil up front and removed the gravel. And I'm going to plant it up. Probably going to time lapse the planting because it'll take me a little while. Um, but I'm going to plant it up with two plant species. One is Halanthium bolivianum. I'm using the Tropica onto grow pots. The pot that I've got doesn't actually have a lot of plants in. Um, but I will have to make do. And I've also got some Eleocaris acicularis, the taller hair grass, or medium hair grass, if you like, which I'm going to plant in there. And I'm probably going to put one of my lilies back in there, but it's going to be a hardscape free display. And I think it's going to be quite cool. I've turned off the light background so it's not too, uh, too bright, there's not too much uh, light going on. And hopefully, We'll enjoy the process and like the result. It will look a little bit sparse to start with, but I think as soon as it fills out, it's going to be a really nice display. folks it's pretty simplistic right now as you can see no hardscape i really wanted to leave more room for the fish that are going in here i need to sort out a bit of that substrate at the front but uh those plants are going to fill out produce a really nice dense carpet and the lily should provide us with some polar structure a bit of uh color as well and hopefully the fish will be very happy in here <laughs> 